Okay, let's see where the formula for the trapezoidal rule actually comes from. We're going to derive this formula here for the, for the specific case n is equal to 4. Okay, just so you guys can get an idea of where it comes from. So what we do is we suppose we have a curve here, y equals f of x, from a to b. So this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. What we do is we, we're going to approximate the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So let's notice something here, which is that the integral from a to b of f of x dx is actually equal to the area of this region here. So using n equals 4 and the trapezoidal rule to approximate this integral here means what we're going to do is we're going to divide this region up, we're going to approximate this region here using four trapezoids. So our first step is to divide the region here into four equal pieces. The width of each of these pieces is going to be delta x. And remember that delta x you find by subtracting a from b, so b minus a over n, which in our case is going to be b minus a over 4. The way we form our trapezoids is we go to this first point, which we'll call x sub 1, draw a segment up to the curve, and connect it to this y value, f of a. Then we go to the next value, x sub 2, draw a segment up to the curve, and form, a, form another trapezoid by connecting to that value. x sub 3, same thing. Draw this trapezoid by connecting to f of x sub 2, and our final trapezoid we get by connecting f of x3 to f of b. So you see here, we can approximate this region here using these four trapezoids. So approximating this integral here using those four trapezoids means what we're going to do is say that this integral is approximately equal to the sum of the areas of these four trapezoids. So let's find those areas. Okay, let's take a look at the first trapezoid. Let's recall the formula for the area of a trapezoid. The area of a trapezoid, we take base 1 plus base 2, multiply that by 1 half, and then multiply by the height of the trapezoid. Okay, so 1 half, the sum of the bases, times the height. In this case, for our first trapezoid, this right here is the first base, and this right here is the second base. Okay, so it's, it's oriented a little bit differently than we're used to trapezoids. So, we have 1 half times our first base, which is f of a, plus our second base, which is f of x1, and then times our height of the trapezoid, which is in this direction, and that's equal to delta x. Then we have our second trapezoid. Similarly, we have 1 half. For the second trapezoid, our first base is f of x1, and our second base is f of x2. The height for our second trapezoid is still going to be equal to delta x. Um, the third trapezoid. We have f of x2 and f of x3 are our two bases. And again, we have a height of delta x. Finally, our fourth trapezoid. We have the base here of f of x3, the base here of f of b. and our height of delta x. Okay, so to approximate the integral from a to b of f of x dx, using these four trapezoids, we need to add up these four different areas. So we have this first area,
second area. Third area. And the fourth area. Okay, we're going to clean this up a little bit by noting that 1 half and delta x are factors of each term here. So we're going to factor that out. 1 half delta x is really the same as delta x over 2. Well, I'll just write it as 1 half delta x. So in the first term here, if we factor out 1 half delta x, we have left f of a plus f of x1. In the second one, we have f of x1 plus f of x2 left if we take out the 1 half and the delta x. Then we have f of x2 plus f of x3. And finally, f of x3 plus f of b. Okay, so you see here we have two f of x1s, we have two f of x2s, and we have two f of x3s. It's very common to write a as x sub 0 and b as x sub n, which in our case is x sub 4. And from earlier, we know that delta x is equal to b minus a over n, or in our case, b minus a over 4. So cleaning this up, we have 1 half times b minus a over 4 times f of, instead of a, x sub 0, 2f of x1, 2f of x2, 2f of x3, and again, instead of f of b, we write f of x sub 4.